Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlog with the View. We're on the seafront at Anchor Zone, but I thought that the no access sign for the high tide was quite apt. Because today, I'm going to talk about us. For a change, instead of talking about everybody else. And I just wondered what the view would be if you turned your computer on and went looking for some information that you've been used for the last 10 years to find in on one of our websites and you found a no access sight shut gone lights not on packed in shut shop what would you do i'm interested to know because in the course of a year millions literally of people use our website we've filled a niche we've provided all kinds of interesting interesting stuff i call it about practically every corner of the foul coast there's loads 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 more to do we've been at it for 10 years it was actually january this year when um we celebrated our 10th anniversary and we were I'd got all organised and all, all cracked on ready for a, a year of celebration and I'd got all kinds of different things planned and then what would you know we ended up with coronavirus so my my year became very different indeed I'm gonna go over to the edge again so in January we were doing steamingly really really well 10 years, 8 websites, loads of Facebook pages, Twitter, um, Pinterest, weekly newsletter, full job lot, all going swimmingly. We got up to an audience of 3.5-4 million people a year. And then along came coronavirus, so everything changed. Our advertisers were closed, so they didn't want to advertise with us. The foul coast is closed. So nobody wants to come day tripping and in fact, you know, morally I can't I can't invite people to come to a place that's closed where we're all on lockdown. In fact legally you can't, can you? So our website traffic dropped like a stone in March. So in March I'm I'm feeling well and truly brassed off. Um, it's like you know you've you've done all this work and you've come all this way, and then bang, down come the shutters and you've got to rethink everything completely. So being an optimistic puppet, I just I just carried on and I started doing videos and everybody liked videos. So one thing turned into another, and before you know where you are, you've got a thriving YouTube channel which is really good and we've found other ways of earning a living but we still need we still need help and we still need support from people because the work and the the time and the expense that goes into producing Visit File Coast just can't be underestimated it's literally a full-time job for two people we um, spend hours and hours and hours and hours researching, writing, creating information, making videos, walking about, talking to people, doing, I mean Kevin does all the, the coding and keeps everything working technically because I haven't got a clue. And it's a really, really big job. But for some reason, people seem to think that it just materialises out of thin air and, you know, there's no, there's no cost attached to it. So we've got bills to pay and we need to eat in exactly the same way that anybody else does. So I'm just curious to know what the general reaction would be if you got up in the morning and found out that it had all disappeared. What if I went and got a job on a cash out in Tesco or any other supermarket of your tribes 
and said, right, that's it, I've had enough, I'm going to have a quiet life. I'm going to stop getting up at five o'clock every morning. I'm going to just twiddle my thumbs and not do, not do this. Would there be a backlash? Would anybody care? Would anybody notice? Or would you just say, oh, well, that's another one gone to the wall. There are quite a few different ways that you can, you can help out and avoid that happening if you do think it would be a problem. Some really, really simple ways uh, for a kickoff that cost nobody anything and just take a little bit of effort number one subscribe for our newsletter and then you'll know what's happening and we can send you information number two when you see an advert for something that you like on one of our websites please click on that in order to go to where you're supposed to be going because we get coppers literally in affiliate links when you click on one of our Google ads that we've displayed. If you see a hotel that you want to stay in and you want to book a, a holiday, click on one of our links to go to the hotel to book your, your stay. We've got a, a search box that is really good, really useful that you can look at and if you'll pick that I'm just looking at that bird I thought it looked like a cormorant it's a seagull sorry if, if you'll pick your break from a link on our website again we would get a very small affiliate payment you know the, the work in promoting hotels is enormous but we're all in it together and we're trying to do our bit. We can't do it for free all the time. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch our videos, that helps because we get a very small revenue from adverts that we show on our, on our channel, on our feed. So there's a lot of little ways like that. And if you're a really big fan, and we've got quite a few really big fans, I'm, I've got to be honest. You can also make a donation. There's a, a link on Visit File Course where you can either make a one-off donation through our own e-commerce or through PayPal. You can set up a regular monthly donation through PayPal. Or you can um, make a, a, just a, a, a simple, simple payment and all those little payments all add up to enable us to carry on doing what we do. This is not a begging letter. This is, oh goodness. This is not a begging letter. This is not intended to sound like I'm on my knees begging and pleading for, for money. But I think most people just don't understand how what we do appears. We're not part of the council. We're not funded by the council. We are completely independent. We are just a little business doing our best for the place where we live and the place that we call home. But we can't do everything on our own without any, without any help. We just can't. So that's today's vlog with a view so after after that after that sermon <laughs> sermon on the mount um don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications please share this with all your friends family acquaintances neighbors anybody you can think of the more people that follow what we do the more coppers we earn and the more able we are to be able to carry on so you'll have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye.